When it comes to growing your online business, your email marketing list is one of the best assets you can possibly have. But to grow an engaged list, you need equally engaging and enticing lead magnet or a gift or an ethical bribe as it's called. Now, being in an online business space for 10 years, I have found that one of the most effective ways to build your email list is to use a quiz. Quizzes can reveal a lot about your ideal audience and it, they can also help point your audience and your subscribers to the right offers in your business, which increases the likelihood of them converting from leads and subscri subscribers into paid clients and customers. When it comes to building your online quiz, Try Interact is one of my favorite, absolute favorite tools to build a fun and engaging quiz. So in today's video, I wanted to show you how you can embed the Try Interact quiz or quiz built with Try Interact into your Squarespace website. If you're new around here, my name is Anna Lea and I'm all about simplifying the tech in your online business, helping you create the website that converts as well as content that attracts and converts your ideal audience. If that's something you're interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button so that you can get notified about each every, and every new video that I post. And with that said, let's dive into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm here in my Interact dashboard and as you can see, I have a quiz that I've created and now I want to grab the code that I need to embed it into my Squarespace website. So obviously you're gonna need a page on your website where the quiz is going to go. But before we do that, we are going to click on share and embed. And then you have several options. First of all, you have the share link, which uh, is great if you want to embed your quiz anywhere on your website and for example, uh, just link to it with a button or a text link. And I'll show you this option after I've shown you how to actually add the quiz itself. So we have that option. So after the share link, then we have the embed code. And this is basically the code that we want to use to embed on a page on our website. And for this option, you want to select the JavaScript option. And then there are several options that you can configure, configure here. So first of all, you have um, the option to auto resize the quiz so that, uh, or the embed to fit the quiz content. And for that, you must use the JavaScript embed. Uh, so this is what we are going to use. And basically that will make the quiz just respond to the quiz content itself. You can also set a custom embed size if you want. You can decide to open quiz in a new tab on mobile devices. And you can disable the cover page on the quiz. And when disabled, the quiz will begin on the first quiz, on the first question, and they will no longer see the basically the quiz that tells them what the quiz is about and has the button take the quiz. So for this, what I am going to do is I'm going to toggle this on, open quiz and new tab on mobile devices. And uh, I'm also going to disable the cover page on the quiz. And then I'm going to copy the code. And then I am going to go to the page that I've already made on my website for the quiz. I'm going to click on edit. And then I'm going to click on the plus sign to add a code block. And then I'm going to delete this text block that is there because we no longer need it. And then in the code block, I'm going to click the pencil icon to edit it. And the first thing I'm going to do in the code block is I'm going to delete this text and then I'm going to add a div that is center aligned. To make sure that the quiz itself is displaying in the center of the page. And then I'm going to paste the code after I've have, I have added that opening bracket. And then I'm going to close the original div and now we have the quid, quiz added to the page and I'm going to click save and once the page refreshes you are going to see the first question for your quiz and then they can basically proceed to take the quiz right there on your website and this is how it looks on when they actually visit it in your browser. So another option that you have within uh, interact instead of the embed code is you can set it up to appear as an announcement bar. In that case, uh, you're going to want to make sure that your quiz is activated. And then there are several options here that you can configure. You can configure the background color of the tab, the text on the announcement bar, the button, the button color itself, um, and whether you want to appear uh, trigger the quiz in a pop-up or open quiz in a new tab. And then you can set the position, whether it should push the web page content down or if it should have fixed positioning. And then uh, you can also 
preview the announcement bar and if you toggle this bar this little box on then this will only show the pop-up when visitor is on certain pages so for example if you have products to sell you could uh, set this to appear only on your products pages and have a quiz which um, t-shirt matches your uh, brand style um, which t-shirt matches your personal style or something like that and then you can set the rules on which pages the quiz should show up so I'm going to uncheck this and then let's see how we can show it as an announcement bar I have also set it up here so that it appears in a new browser tab that it takes us basically to the page where we have the quiz itself um, embedded. So I'm going to copy this code and then I'm going to go into settings, advanced, code injection, and then I'm going to paste it into the header code. Keep in mind that you need to be on a business and commerce plan uh, to use the code injection feature. So I'm going to click save and as soon as the page refreshes you can see that the announcement bar appears and if they click the button they are taken to the page where we have the quiz or if you want to see it in the incognito mode to make sure that it works let me quickly pull up the tab and we're going to go to that page and as you can see it redirected us to the page where the quiz is located similarly we have the pop-up option which again, you need to make sure that the quiz is active and then you can customize how the pop-up looks. And then you will have to copy this code and basically add it uh, as added in the code injection, injection section. So instead of this announcement bar, we can set up the pop-up. And once we refresh the page, as you can see, the quiz now pops up as a pop-up on our website. So those are the options that you have for embedding the Interact quiz on your Squarespace website. Another option, as I've mentioned before, is you can share this link. And this is useful if you want to share the quiz with a button. So let's say that we want to add it to an About page. So I'm here on an About page that obviously needs to be built out, but I just want to show you quickly how you can add it with the text link. So I'm going to add a blank section. And we're going to say, take my awesome quiz. And then we are going to turn that into a link. Now you have two options here. If you've already embedded the quiz on your website with the method, method that I showed you earlier, where you embed it on a page, then for the link, all you really have to do is just link to that page. So all I really have to do is start typing forward slash and then the name of the page and then link to that page and click apply. But if you want to link straight to the interacts page you can copy this link and then you create a link on your page and you paste that link in click apply and then we click save and once somebody clicks that link they will be taken to the page on interact uh, where they can take the quiz so it is up to you which method you want to use. Uh, personally, I would keep them on my website, but if for whatever reason you just want to link to their page, this is how you would do it with the text-based link. And you can do the similar, you can achieve the similar functionality by using a button. So you'd click on add a button. And for text, you can say, take my awesome quiz. And then under link, click the cogwheel icon click on web address, paste that link in and set it to open up in a new window and then click save, click done, save your changes. And again, once they click that, they will be taken straight to the Interacts website to take the quiz. So that is another option that you have for adding the Interact quiz to your website. And that's it. That is how you can embed a quiz that you've created with Try Interact into your own Squarespace website. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up so that I know to create more videos like this. And if you need help with building your Squarespace website, I have a free training over on my website that you can watch instantly today to learn all the steps necessary for you to create a gorgeous website that attracts your dream clients on autopilot. I will leave a link to that training down in the description below, so definitely be sure to check it out. That's it for this video and I'll see you next time.